In this video, I'm going to go through the Sony A7 III rig that I built on a budget for my trip to Japan. Welcome back to the channel, my name is Camillo. On this channel, we talk about improving your production quality and having a handheld rig is very useful for all the handheld filmmaking that you may do in your films. I went to Japan to film a documentary about salsa music and luckily I brought with me a handheld rig that I built using a lot of small rig components very easily and on a budget. So you can very easily turn your naked Sony a7 III into a handheld beast. And uh, let's get that built. So the first thing I built with the Sony a7 III is a cage. This cage is from Smallrig. After I build the cage, I add the top handle. Next, I'm gonna add my monitor, which goes in a cold shoe mount that I added to this handle. These cold shoe adapters come separately and they're also very cheap. Also, try not to add your monitor upside down because that's what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about you, but I find it really satisfying and really fun to just build out these rigs, especially when you're in a client gig, like you look really cool. So then we add the battery to the monitor. And finally, I attach the audio. Okay, so once built, it looks something like this. Quite a hefty beast, but there's not actually a lot going on. And that's what I love about it. It's very simple and very easy to set up. So let's talk a little bit more about the pros of having this cage. Firstly is that it has a nice little lip on this side here. So this lip allows you to hold the camera from this side and this side, allowing you to have quite a firm grip, especially if you don't want to use a top handle and you just want to use the sides. It does give you more stability if you kind of keep your elbows tight. However, using the top handle allows you to do very specific movements and get really nice low shots if you wanted to. Sometimes low angles are very important. If you wanna make someone look like a hero or kind of put them on a pedestal, it's better to shoot up at them than down at them. This isn't like a quick release one, it's one that you use the regular screws for. Pros of this actually is that it has a very nice and comfortable grip, which I really like, that some of the other NATO handles doesn't actually have. And I also keep the screws on the actual handle itself when I'm not using them. It also comes with an extra cold shoe mount, but I don't really use it because it's kind of on the edge. Instead, I attach one of the small rig additional cold shoe mounts that you can get for them for very cheap, and I just screwed it on and allows my monitor to kind of come a bit forward so I can get like a nice angle when looking down at it. If I was walking around with this, this is just uncomfortable. We have the Fieldward MA5 monitor that I got very recently. It's full HD and I actually got it for the trip because I really wanted to make sure that the shots that I got were in focus and were very well composed as this is going on television. So one of the great things about the MA5 monitor is that it has very strong peaking lines, which means that when I'm doing any manual focusing, I can exactly see what is in focus and what isn't in focus. For audio, we have the Rode Wireless Go system, which I'm in a video that you can find up here. Very good for interviews. Also, what I did when filming a performance of some salsa musicians is that I put the transmitter in front of the stage where they were performing. And then I was kind of walking around and filming everywhere. And they allowed me to sort of capture very good sound whilst being far away and filming whatever I wanted to. I'm using the Tamron 28 to 75 f2.8. This lens is fantastic. It's very good for run and gun filmmaking. And for me, f2.8 is essential because I find myself, especially in a lot of run and gun, guerrilla filmmaking, not in a place where I can control the lighting. I will say that the focus ring on the Tamron 28 to 75 isn't that good. It's focused by wire. It won't be reliable. It won't stay in the same place that it was before. However, having the peaking lines just kind of helps combat that. I don't need to say why I'm using the Sony, but I'm using the Sony and I also have the steady shot on, which also helps with handheld filmmaking. So why are handheld rigs important? Uh, they're important for two reasons. Firstly, you get to add a lot more attachments. So as you can see here, I have a monitor, I have a handle, I have a Rode Wireless Go. And if you wanted to, you can go crazy and add some lights to it. Or you can put a rail on it and then you can add like a manual focus wheel. I might do that in the future if I have the budget for it. But even just having the cage by itself can not only help you with the grip, but add a little bit more weight to it. And having a lot of weight to your camera kind of reduces the shakes that you get because you have more gravity to push against. I also found that with the handheld rig, when having the Arca Swiss adapters to go on a tripod, it made it like this kind of one band show where I could have it on a tripod, then I could just take it out and just do handheld and put it back on a tripod. And if I wanted to, I could use my gimbal. It's very helpful with just keeping things together and being very efficient with your filmmaking. So this is also quite a budget friendly rig. The handle itself is about 20 pounds. The cage will set you back around 70 pounds, 69 pounds. But I think I got it for like 45 pounds on an Amazon Black Friday deal. 
Also, five pounds for the single piece poultry mount. So the actual hardware itself is under um six seventy eight. It's under a hundred pounds. Obviously, the monitor was like one hundred and seventy pounds, and the wireless go was one hundred and fifty pounds. So all in all, it's just under quick maths. I'll just show it on the screen. Nice. So it's quite a budget friendly rig. At the time of this video and where I am now, this is what I have and I'm quite happy with it. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. I'll leave you now with some footage of the shots that I got with this rig and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you get to see more videos. Happy New Year and roll the footage.